So thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by NewQBO.com. So here's our website, NewQBO.com, and uh, uh, we do consulting. We can just click consulting in here, and if you have any questions regarding QuickBooks Online, you can just uh, make comments in here, ask question. All right. So in this video, I'm going to focus on how do you apply customer payment that has a merchant fee to an invoice you know you you accept credit card and uh, you receive payment from your customer 100% payment but uh, bank or merchant you know, service will deduct your fee and deposit uh, less to your uh, bank account so how do you handle that in QuickBooks Online so that's the focus of this video so I'm gonna go to QuickBooks Online right here alright so uh, I'm going to go to receive payment. Let's say you have one outstanding uh, invoice, let's say for uh, $1,000 in this case. All right, here's $1,000 open invoice, right? So you create invoice. When you create invoice, basically regular, you know, regular invoice. Like this, you know, whatever. Okay, so now I want to receive payment for that one. Okay, so you receive payment. Uh, and normally uh, on you know desktop they will have some way to adjust for uh, uh, fees uh, but in this case in QBO they don't have it yet so hopefully they will uh, improve this so anyway uh, so what you want to do is see this deposit to instead of selecting your bank account you know real bank account so you need to select undeposited funds account the bottom one you'll always have undeposited funds under other, other current assets in QuickBooks Online uh, so that, that should be in your chart of account so select undeposited funds right and so it's a uh, customer paid you one thousand dollars on your bank your merchant fee deducted uh, fee so it has nothing to do with your uh, customer so save and close you receive payment one thousand dollars from your customer so that clear open invoice so next thing you want to do is from the plus sign go to bank deposit so it's bank deposit one right here under other bank deposit okay so since this is sitting in undeposited funds you will see right here so so at this point make sure you know just select that one one thousand dollars and underneath in here select uh, your merchant fee uh, expense account wherever you want to expense it merchant fees right okay and receive loan you can leave it blank or if you have want to just track some way as vendor you just you know have fees in here and in here let's say uh, your merchant uh, uh, account deducted thirty dollars for this uh, uh, transaction just put the negative amount negative number in here right okay so in this case I have a class in here uh, let's say this is a uh, uh, service type or whatever. Uh, you may not have that. Okay, so this, as you can see, it's 970. So this is how you do it. So you know, in this example, I just did one payment. So in this, in your example, it could be uh, several payments and just one uh, merchant fee. So it's basically, total payments minus merchant fee is your total deposit net deposit amount, right? So it's a 970. And so that's all you got to do, and just save and close. See right here. Add uh, new deposits as negative amount, and this is your merchant fees expense account. Uh, in this case, I have cost of goods sold. Uh, so you, you may have uh, as uh, expense type. That's okay, you know. But this is how you do it. Save and close. That's it. It's done. It's just pretty easy. All right, thank you. Thank you for watching. Visit our website. You know, as I say, if you have any questions, just drop in here. If you need consulting, right there. Thank you. Bye.